<sighs> Take a deep breath in with me real quick. You know, breathing is one of the quickest ways that we can center ourselves. <sighs> so today, though, I want to talk about hard work. It seems the opposite of deep breathing, right? Deep breathing can sometimes be hard work, but <laughs> hard work. Hard work in the direction of our passion, though. That's the key. I'm not talking about hard work that is meaningless and doesn't really add to our perceived value of our lives. But hard work, you know, Zig Ziglar, the, the late great motivator and, and just business expert, said that happiness is not pleasure. Happiness is victory. And wow, I absolutely have that feeling right now. I, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a personal trainer in San Jose, California. I own a business called My Core Balance. And uh, it's about 5 o'clock. And I've been working since 6 a.m., solid with clients. I had one hour break. I had a one hour break. And then a second hour was, was chatting with a friend of mine who's a fellow acupuncturist. And you can actually hear that podcast. We did a little mini podcast on my other show, Ask Trainer Chris. But uh, all, all the other hours, I think I had nine, eight clients. Eight clients. So full, you know, full eight hour day. That's a, on pace for a 40 hour work week. And I just feel, I feel like I have more energy now than I did before my first session. I, I mean, I was moving all day. That's great about the life of the personal trainer is I kind of got like an eight hour workout. <laughs> you know, I, I actually, I made it my goal to do five exercises each hour. So I pretty much get a full workout all day long. Cause sometimes, you know, watching everybody else work out, you kind of forget that you haven't done a workout yourself. Uh, so got to keep myself accountable. But absolutely hard work in the direction of your dreams is so rewarding, life-giving, motivating. And I don't feel like I have worked yet today. I feel like I could go home and do some work. I'm not going to. I'm going to go play with my kids. But it, it's that... It's that hard work, that motivation. So I'm going to give you three steps that if, if this is not an experience for you on a consistent basis on how you can possibly make it an experience for you. Now, this is not going to happen overnight. If you are working at a job that you absolutely hate and your eight-hour day feels more like 80 hours, this is not going to happen overnight. So please hear me on that one. But three, three steps that you can start right away. Step one is stop complaining about what you have. That's it. <laughs> stop complaining about what you have. Now, this seems harsh at first, and you might say, I'm not complaining about what I have. But if there's any part of you that feels like you're begrudgingly going through your day, that's step one is stop complaining about what you have. Now, I want to qualify this. I'm not saying this as if I have this mastered. I don't. I still occasionally will complain about what I have. I'm getting a lot better. But this is, I know for a fact, this is step one. You need to stop complaining about what you have because what you have is what you've already created and there's no way that you can get rid of what you've already created. All you can do is create new things. So instead of going against what you have, you want to do step two which is figure out what you want. Figure out what you want. And that, for some people, is very challenging. And I think the reason it's so challenging is because you know it's not gonna happen right away. And you know there's gonna be a disconnect that as soon as you say, I want this, I wanna spend 10 hours a day working on my dreams, this is not gonna happen right away. So that leads us to step three. And step three is start where you are. And this is a very important concept even in fitness is that it doesn't matter that you can't bench press 5,000 pounds. Who cares? Start where you are. So with your dreams, you start where you are. You figure out what you want and then you start where you are. So where you are might be, I have one minute a day to take a deep breath. I have an hour a day to brainstorm ideas to make my dream a reality. 
So that's your three simple steps. Number one, stop complaining about what you don't want. Number two, figure out and decide what you do want. And then number three, start with where you are and just take little baby steps. And this is how you can actually prove to yourself that you can live the life you want now. Even though I said you can't do it right now, you can't do it overnight, you kind of can. You, you can do it in a very small form. Very small form. So here's a big example. If you want to be a professional athlete and you know that an NBA team is not going to pay you right now to play basketball, you can still live the portion of that life that you can right now. So what's great about being a professional athlete? That's what you need to ask yourself. What do you, what do you see as being beneficial or fun about that? Oh, you get to work out. You get paid to work out, right? So again, maybe you don't get paid, but go work out. Go play basketball. Uh, whatever it is about that life. Eat high quality food that helps you recover. Whatever it is. Whatever your huge goal is, get the bite-sized version of that. That's step three. And then step four This is a bonus. I know I said three. (laughs) Act as if you're already there. Get excited about your life. Again, I'm not saying this as if I'm a master at doing this because I definitely have my lows. It's just that I don't post a podcast when I'm at my low. I make sure to rev myself up first. And I had eight hours of working today at the life that I want to work on to get me inspired to do the things that I want to do on a big picture long term. If this is not you right now, stand up, put your hands up over your head as if you just won the lottery, as if you just won a million dollars, as if you are doing and living the life that you want to live. Put your hands up in the air and say, thank you. Because this is, I used to do this all the time and it was ridiculous to me in one way, but at the same time, it felt so good. I was at rock bottom, rock bottom, And I will tell you more about my story later as I get farther away from it. Because sometimes it's still too raw. Rock bottom. Putting my hands up over my head in the air. Cheering and saying thank you because I'm still breathing. Being so excited about this life that I'm living. And then you know what happened? Gradually my life started to actually transform into what I was saying. So I'm going to take another deep breath because I want to kind of calm down a little bit. And I don't want to calm down because I'm not still excited because I am. I'm very excited still. I want to calm down because I want to convey to you how absolutely doable it is to change your state at any moment and it's not necessarily easy but it is doable to change your state at any moment to be able to observe the world around you and see things that are not going in the way that you anticipated they were going to go but knowing that no matter what happens out there Your choice, your free will, lies in your ability to choose how you feel. Not 100% of the time. So if you can't get it 100% of the time, don't get discouraged. And it also doesn't happen right away. You know, you need practice. You can't go into the gym and start curling 100 pounds right away. You have to build up to it, right? But with practice... The same way you work a muscle with exercise. You can get better at controlling your state or your mood. The benefit of this too, you know, with exercise, you need to take a break in between workouts. You know, if you do a workout today, you can't do another workout in three hours. It doesn't make sense, right? You need to rest. You need to rest. Let your muscles recover. With training your mood and your mindset, this is something that you can do multiple times a day. And I recommend doing this. I recommend setting a timer. Do it right when you wake up. Do it right before every meal or set a timer to do it every hour and train your mood. And then gradually, your external circumstances will start to match how you feel inside. Thank you so much for listening and I'll talk to you next time. Peace. I'm not going
The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.